Hey guys, it's Marty, and today is the big day, the reveal of the limited edition field sketch kit that I worked for a long time with the good folks over at Wet Paint to put together. This kit is available exclusively through Wet Paint, and there's a very limited number of these available. I'll talk about that at the end, but just in time for the holidays, we've worked together to source all of the items that I take into the field with me when I go sketching in a nice, very compact, well-sourced kit with quality products in it. I'm gonna go through all of those products today and talk to you about what they are and why they were selected for the kit. Immediately, you're gonna see a couple of different kinds of sketchbooks, a bunch of different pencils and ink pen. What you don't see right away is this. This is a Faber-Castell uh, two-hole sharpener, self-contained, it fits right in that little pocket there, and a Stettler Mars plastic eraser, which again, this is the eraser I use in the field. And this is pretty exciting because the very first pencil I had to have in this kit was a Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle watercolor pencil. This happens to be an orange ochre just in time for, the, for fall, and it's just an awesome pencil. I loved it and I had to have it in the kit. And for all of Prismacolor's problems, they probably still make the very best white colored pencil on the market today. And it works great in the Hanamule toned sketchbook, which is the craft book contained in this kit as well. So I wanted to make sure I had a white in there. Um, then there's the Stettler pigment liner. The Stettler pigment liner is a must have for any pen colored pencil ink sketching uh, that I do in the field and I think uh, you're really going to love this one happens to be a 0 0.5 and it's just the right size uh, it's balanced super well the ink is great the tip is really durable i constantly abuse uh, this pen and so i had to get it into the kit now the next pencils you're going to see are the faber castell polychromos pencil I've uh, fallen in love with these pencils ever since my first review of them, ever since I picked one up and put it in my hand and, and used it on paper. I love the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil. And what I wanted to do was give you a few of the primary colors here so that you could uh, enjoy a variation of, of mixing and blending with these great colored pencils. Faber-Castell just create excellent products, perfect for the colored pencilist or just the average sketch artist like myself. Here are two of my very favorite pencils in the world. These are Derwent pencils. Um, this is a sepia red and a chocolate, the 6600 chocolate I use all the time in my work. It's just fantastic. Really thick and hefty core with a really uh, rich color. These are just really great to use and a joy to uh, draw with. My friends over at Wet Paint really helped source a lot of the items here and one of the things that we struggled with was finding the right case. We wanted to find a heavy duty like denier case that would fit everything in it, be able to be really portable and so I'll talk more about that case in a minute and the sourcing of it. But first, if you don't have a tone sketchbook in your kit, you should. This Hanamule craft paper is really great to work with, especially with lighter colors, so I had to include it. And of course, the very excellent Stillman and Burn sketchbook. This has 270 GSM heavy duty paper in it, which means it'll take just about anything you can dish out and then some. And so it's just a great sketchbook and one that uh, no sketch artist should be without. Of course, the Stedler Mars eraser, this is a plastic eraser. I use it all the time, both in the field and the studio. And of course, the Faber-Castell fully contained pencil sharpener. Now, if you take this into the field, you don't have to worry about finding a place to put the shavings. It just stays in the container here, and it's got the two holes, the bigger one, which I like to use the Derwent's in, and then the smaller one for, for thinner pencils, like the Faber-Castell Polychromos or, or the uh, Prismacolor. One of the most important considerations when sourcing this kit was to make sure that everything fit in the case. The case couldn't be too big and it couldn't be too small. It couldn't be too heavy. It just had to be just right. And uh, one of the things that's great about this kit is that when you measure it out, of course, everything fits nice and neatly into it, but it had to be portable all on its own. 
So you had to be able to take it out in the field without putting it in a backpack or a handbag or a woman's purse, and it would be weather resistant. So the heavy duty denier is weather resistant. I think you could take this kit just about anywhere and you would be fine. Um, but it will fit in a backpack or a handbag or like I said, a woman's purse. It measures just over 10 inches by about six and three quarters by about, depending on how much stuff you put in it, by about an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half thick. And here's an added bonus. It comes in weight wise at just around a pound. So that helps with everything from carrying the kit to shipping cost. Everything about this kit is intentional. From the responsibly sourced items within to the heavy duty case, to the straps that hold the book in and the pencil secure. Each one of the items in the sketchbook, and here's a full inventory list. You can pause the video or look at, look at it here or look in the description where I have this all listed out. But each of the items in here were chosen carefully because they represent quality, reliability, durability, all the things that I love about going into the field and taking items that I can reliably uh, use to sketch with. One of the really cool bonuses about this kit is that the case allows for some expandability. And so if you have other items that you wanted to include in the kit, maybe a different kind of sketchbook or say a watercolor kit, which I often bring into the field with me uh, when I go sketching, you can do that. Now I'm packing the bag as I normally would and I'm gonna go ahead and add this pretty large Schmenka watercolor kit to the case. And as you can see, it zips up just fine. Now here's a smaller kit. This is a Rembrandt. And what's cool about this is you can just drop it into the case vertically. You don't have to make any special accommodation or anything. There you go, just zip up the case. And again, out to the field you go, or your favorite sketching spot. Again, you can uh, reconfigure the case a little bit by removing stuff from the pocket and then you can um, you know, do some different things with how you want to position the items. So now the kit just sits side by side with the Stillman and Burn sketchbook, zip it up and again you are away in no time. When I was working on this with Darren at Wet Paint, we talked a lot about how do we keep the price affordable for people who want to pick up this kit, either as a gift or for themselves, because for me price point is also a big consideration. I really wanted to keep the kit accessible even for the first time or novice sketcher, but also that something that would attract the pro sketcher as well. So price had to be a consideration. Well, I think we came up with a great compromise. First of all, we're gonna limit the first iteration of the sketch kit to 30 kits. That means there's a very limited number of kits. And if these all sell out, which I hope they do, so please go and get yours right away before they do, we will talk about sourcing new kits. Here's the price, $39.95, which is a pretty severe and deep discount because if you were gonna go and hunt up these items individually, it'd be well north of $60, probably closer to 70 bucks to source uh, this kit. It is available exclusively through wet paint and wet paint only. They're my partners on this kit. So as a bonus and an added incentive, one lucky buyer of this kit is gonna open their kit when they get it and they're gonna find something very special inside. The already sold out limited edition Schmincke colors, which were again available exclusively through wet paint. This sweet kit contains new colors from Schmincke's brand new introduced colors and here are all the colors you can make from the colors in the kit. So go out and grab yours now before they're sold out. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and please do share the video and follow me on my website at owingsart.com. You can just go to the website, scroll down, and click on the blue follow button. And about once a month or so, you'll get a little note that says, hey, Marty's posted something on the blog, and you can uh, go there and check it out and follow along on the artistic journey and my musings and whatnot. So I really appreciate all of you who have done that so far. Hey, by the way, I'm on Patreon now and I'll be posting some exclusive content up on Patreon very soon. So if you haven't gone over and checked out my Patreon channel uh, or space, please do so soon. I'm gonna post something very quickly up there and uh, it'll be related to this. And so I hope you'll go check that out as well. And as well as some pop-up like sketchbook tours and things like that. Also, just to be clear for the record, I don't get paid for any of the products I review on my channel. 
including this great kit. I basically put this kit together with wet paint so that I could put it in the hands of my subscribers. So hopefully you guys really support it and will sell a lot more of these kits to uh, experienced or budding artists. All right, have a great day, everybody. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. So long. Bye-bye.